It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Kara? Huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognise. Just garbage. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Rest your hand on the rusted bike. Torn wheezes a honk of despair. A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no sign of wear. Inside are a couple of freezing dried space food bars. Take one. You got the astronaut food. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edge. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Yes. You tap the dummy with your fist. You feel bad. You've had enough of the dummy. Fool! You think you can hurt me? I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until... You came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said. Horrible. Shocking. Unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human. I'll scare your soul out of your body. My dummy blocks the way. Because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. Pitiful, pitiful, pow! Ow! You dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic! My dummy is looking nervous. You talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul. My dummy is hopping mad. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Stand in a window of a fancy store. That dummy is bossing around its bullets. Then everything I want will be mine. My dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. Huh? Yeah, I guess I'll avenge my cousin. 
Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. What was their name again? Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Whatever, whatever, whatever! Futile, futile, futile! Foolish, foolish, foolish! Feeble, feeble, feeble! The dog residue. The rest of your inventory is filled up with dog residue. You use the dog residue. You finished using it. An uneasy atmosphere fills the room. Dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage! Mechanical words fill the room. Dummies, bots, magic missile! Mad Dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. Dummy bots, try again! Mad Dummy is bossing around its bullets. Dummy bots, you're awful! Mad Dummy is bossing around its bullets. Dummy Bot's final attack! Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Haha, <laughs> too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought that they were in for a nice chat. 
at the things you said. Horrible. Shocking. Unbelievable. It spooked him right out of the dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Dummy bots, final attack. No way! These guys are even worse than the other guys! Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends! I've got knives! I'm out of knives! But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me forever! 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 <laughs> what? What the heck is this? There, that's it, rain. Whoa, forget it, I'm out of here. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no. You guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with, if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Hey, my house is up here, in case you want to see, or in case you don't. You feel a calming tranquility, you're filled with determination. North, Block Acres, East, Hotland, Temi Village. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. This CD is labelled Spook Tunes. Play it. You play the CD. This CD is labelled Spook Wave. Play it. Play the CD. This CD is labelled Gold A Music. Play it. You play the CD. Dang, that ambience. It's like my whole body is being spooked. The computer's internet browser is open to my music sharing forum. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yes. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh. Never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yes. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess.
That was nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that big CD. It's locked. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail, so snail somewhere. I've been long overdue for a second house. This snail is counting dollar bills. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business. But our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race. And if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Play. Okay, press C repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed. Really got to. Oh. You both tried your best, but this now looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. What? 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 It's a living. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer. Whoa there, I've got some neat junk for sale. What are you looking for?
I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Though I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Tammy Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. Don't be sure now. How about yourself? I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> That's emblem. Eh? You don't know what that is? What are you teaching kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. The King. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy go lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? What I call Dreamer of Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. If you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered it by then. About Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. <laughs> Emblem's meaning. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes... something else. Most people say it's the angel, from the prophecy. The prophecy? Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it, an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook. Calling the winged circle the angel of death. A harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> Don't be shy now. Be careful out there, kid. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Set of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. The huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier. It will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Special enemy Timmy appears here to defeat you. Rated 10 out of 10, he loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Oh, I'm Timmy! Timmy vibrates intensely. Timmy only wants the Timmy flakes. No! So hunger, guys. Sounds like Timmy Flakes. You say hello to Timmy. Oh, I'm Timmy.
Kimmy accidentally misspells her own name. into Moldsmall. Moldsmall is very normal. It's a slime mold. Moldsmall is having quite time. You approach Moldsmall, suddenly. Go! Small boy could need some distance. You don't hook more bike. It appreciates the respect of its boundaries. Mod bike seems comfortable with your presence. Guard candles or magic to guide them home. The monsters use crystals to navigate. Behind you. Seven. Seven human souls. The power of seven human souls are king. King Asgore Dreamer. Will become a god. With that power. I was going to finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity. And give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human. This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul. Or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne, I'll help you fight. Yo, you did it. Undyne is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. Wait, who's she fighting? Hey, you're not going to tell my parents about this, are you? You aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm? I say my wish. You promise you won't laugh at me? You hear a passing conversation? Of course I won't laugh. You hear a passing conversation? Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. 
That's my wish. You hear laughter? Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. You hear a passing conversation? Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return and the underground will go empty. Yo! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're a human, right? Huh? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um... I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? No. Yo, what? Do I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Yo, w wait, help! I tripped! Y y yo, dude! If, if you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought, huh? <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. Bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as it is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. They all started long ago. No. You know what? <laughs> Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Nah! <laughs> you! You're standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget about your wimpy good two-shoes sidekick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs>
The wind is howling. You are filled with determination. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come! Vanguard! Undyne attacks. The heroine that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. Undyne towers threateningly. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy, she doesn't care. When I said face towards danger, I mean face towards the bullets. Undyne flips her spear intimidatingly. I told Undyne you didn't want to fight. Nothing happened. Not bad, then how about this? Undyne towers threateningly. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. Undyne bounces impatiently. And now sunlight is just within our reach. Now I won't let you snatch it away from us. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Nah, ha, ha. Enough warming up. Undyne bounces impatiently. You're just great. Your HP was maxed out. Ha, you're tough. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. But even if I spared you... Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Undyne holds her fists in front of her and shakes her head. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy. It smells like sushi. So stop being so damn resilient. Told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. What the hell are humans made out of? Anyone else would be dead by now. He's told me humans were determined. I see now what she meant by that. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. I'm determined to.
determined to end this right now. Right now! Getting in my way. Undine's eye is twitching involuntarily. I will not be defeated. Undine is smashing spears on the ground. You'll never escape from me! Stop running away! Come back here, you little punk! Hey! What's up? I was just thinking. You, me, Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at our house later. So hot, but I can't give up. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Yes. You take a cup of water. You give one down the water? Yes. 